It's hard to believe that over 150 years ago, Western Canada had hardly been explored by the British. There were small indigenous communities, and a few groups of fur traders and explorers, but little information was known about the place we now call home. To find out whether expansion into the West was viable, the British government, along with the Royal Geographical Society, supported the British North American Exploring Expedition. Leading the charge was Captain John Palliser. From 1857 to 1860, himself along with four other men rode across the prairies to study and gather information on the geography, climate and soil of Western Canada. After traveling from Lake Superior to the Rocky Mountains, the captain reported that the regions of present-day southeastern Alberta and southwestern Saskatchewan were too arid for farming. He claimed the West was permanently sterile and unfit for the abode of civilized men. The area he designated as barren would become known as the Palliser Triangle. However, Palliser's expedition occurred during drought conditions in the plains. It wasn't until another expedition in the 1870s, this one led by John McCoon, that painted a less bleak picture of the West. With a little rainfall, the area flourished, and Palliser's Triangle proved its potential for fruitful farming. Palliser's findings made one thing certain to the Dominion government. There was no settling the West without irrigation.